Hey, how's it going guys? Welcome back to Ment FX. And in this video, we are going to very quickly do our first out of four um, mentorship giveaways. So make sure that if you did comment or if you didn't, you get a chance to do so. Um, this video right here, top down analysis, one week of trading. As you all know, this is where we speak about the free mentorship giveaway and everybody that leaves a hashtag MentFX is enrolled in it. And right now we're going to roll one of the four that we're going to be giving away and we'll give out more um, in the future video. So we're gonna copy this very simply. This is the YouTube URL right here. We're gonna filter some duplicate users. We're gonna include replies to comments and we are going to filter it based on the special text of hashtag meant fx as you all know so this means that for the future for those of you that want to be or potentially get a free spot for a month in the mentorship you can go and leave a comment on this video right here and make sure just to leave a hashtag meant fx in the description otherwise you can go and join the mentorship through this website right here launchpass.com slash meant slash meant and if you do win i will refund you the 100 dollars for the month that you win for so let's roll this very quickly and then we'll get on with the video so let's get the youtube comments of everybody that commented by the way thank you so much for the support it's been absolutely astronomical as well as everything that's been going i did tell you guys i do a top down it seems like some people wanted to look at some interesting stuff so we'll look we'll take a look at silver just because so there's about a thousand of you that left a comment uh unique so we will pick our first winner um so here we go <laughs> we'll see who it is okay so 90 dot y5 um the man the myth the motherfucking legend hashtag meant effects thank you very much man you got one of the spots to the mentorship i need you to go ahead and reach out to me over um this telegram link right here make sure you click on this and you use this link because that's the only one that you can ever reach me with so go ahead and message me um and then also uh, send me a video or proof that it's your YouTube account. I want to see you log into this So I'm gonna take a quick photo of this for myself. So I know that you won one of them. So that's one out of the four mentorships um, That's one out of the four which means that you guys still have a chance to win in the future videos Just make sure you go and comment on this video right here one week of trading watch this to understand Okay, um, since we got that out of the way now Oops, there's the there's the merch site if any of you want it by the way <laughs> But since we got that out of the way, we've had a very very slow week on EU um, I actually only trade EU as you guys know, especially with FTMO So I haven't really been we haven't really been finding anything crazy just waiting for a little bit of um, a little bit of mitigations that occur up here or up here to get ready for some kind of longer push Downwards, which I believe will begin to come into the lows um in some of the areas here but what i'm going to do for you guys today is going to do a top-down analysis of um zag is that silver yeah of silver just so you guys can understand how it is that i view a market and how i analyze it so you can see a while back i actually analyzed it with some people um but we'll get rid of all this and we'll start from a top-down approach we'll walk ourselves through the analysis how we're thinking and where we would be looking to get involved if we were to be trading silver and we can make a little update on this in the future video so what i always like to do is i always start with the higher time frames it helps me place my mind around where price is and where price is heading so we'll go on the six month and instantly you can all pretty much notice that we have this point of interest right here right we have this last up move before the down move which actually never really broke structure right so you'll notice this push here never broke structure however it came down to start mitigating some of the demand zones in this area here so we'll go ahead and refine this in a little bit but we can see that over the last however many months we finally had this grab of liquidity that grabbed all the rest of the people here again weak hands weak hands and weak hands being taken out by the strong hands the push is higher that are now breaking structure on a lower time frame right about in here leaving behind new areas and points of interest which we will again refine a lower time frame but leaving behind the expectation that we're going to come to mitigate some of the points here to create liquidity to come and back into here and that's where basically um longer term institutions and the confidence demand is going to start to accumulate into very very long-term buys to start running liquidity above the highs here the highs here um, and all of the highs inside of here right so that's a very long-term basis but this is how we start an overall analysis or based approach now if we take a look at this we can again go ahead and refine it to some of the areas in here and just understand where price has been 
um, heading for. If you look at the last actual up move before the down move that occurred right here, which was responsible for the break of structure that was seen right about here. And then you can see that this mitigation right here actually came to hit some of the last down moves before the up moves here, filling in the little bit of imbalance that we have in the areas right here, right? So this just filled in all that, um, mitigated that quite nicely. As well as um, back in the day, if you notice, there was weak hands, weak hands, weak hands, weak hands, all taken out by strong hands. And then we had the accumulation period take place. Um, very, very slow move back into those areas to test them as well as create the same type of accumulation. Um, you might have been stopped out with the accumulation that occurred here, um, but then you would have been probably able to get into the accumulation that occurred somewhere in here before this large move up occurred. Now, inside of here, we can see that we just came up here to test this last up move before the down move, and we are starting to mitigate it. And as you can see, we just took out the liquidity above it. Sadly, it's almost like equal highs. I'm sad it didn't come a little bit higher. However, the fact that it pushed up so hard and then whipped back in allows us to believe that this might be a grab of liquidity before a lower movement is made in the market, which we can, of course, go ahead and refine very quickly to some area in here and just anticipate that we want to see the fills of some of these imbalances right here, imbalances right here um, to come back into here, right, on silver. So with that in mind, we understand that, you know, of course, we have some liquidity up here. And if price is to continue higher, it could come to easily grab some of the liquidity here and then continue way higher. Um, or it could just keep going way higher now. But that's not the bias I'm going to be operating under right now. The bias that I'll be operating under is the following. Right. And remember that we are looking at this as an overall area. So, of course, any of this is is possible. But if we look at the 50 percent of this overall down push, it lines up quite nicely with the imbalance in here and the unmitigated last down before the up move in here, which we can, again, refine a little bit further in just a second. Um, as you can see, we get a little bit lower. You'll notice that all this was mitigated and then the real breaks began to come in at these points and these points here. So we can go ahead and refine this further if we really want to. Maybe you can refine it to this candle right here just to be sure that you understand where you want to be targeting. However, now that we're lower, we can take a look at exactly what's going on here. So the weekly has um, rallied up into this area and created just a normal high of some sorts. Now, at the same time, they created this new higher high, right, as you all understand. But as we created this high, notice how we did it. We did it with the creation of a ton of liquidity and the clearing of all the liquidity. So this is a lot of weak hands, weak hands that we're selling into this market really prematurely, most likely from my point of view. And now we're having the push down, which is actually being met with structure breaks lower, which are now being met with finding prices on the top side of this um, pricing model to come right back up into somewhere in here. Uh, most likely targeting this area right here to begin the sell. So of course, if I was a large bank right now, I'd probably look to actually just start funneling into a few sell positions, maybe with 0.3, 0 0.4% risk, because that's already in the millions or even billions of dollars to start taking it to the downside over the next, um, over the next, what, few weeks. So how long would this take right here? Yeah, so over the next like year, pretty much. If I was a large bank, of course, but I'm not a large bank, so I'm not going to do that. But this is the mitigation of that prior zone, as we understand. And we can, again, go and find a nice area to denote this with. But the real last up push kind of came from here. So that's exactly where we're working in right now, as you can see. So this is what we're working in. Um, currently, this is this is actually valid. Again, this is not financial advice. It's just um, perspective-based trading. But this is currently valid for taking a uh, position to go and start to run the partials and liquidity that exists in some of the zones here, that exists in some of the zones here, that exists in some of the zones here, and most importantly, that comes and exists in all the liquidity that's still, um, that was built up in this area right here, right before this large push up, because there's still people that are holding, especially on behalf of very long-term investors at these points, and they might be um, scared out with a move like this, which will liquidate them indeed, right? So again, the expectation is just being drawn out from that top-down based analysis, um, very, very, nothing too crazy again as we get to the daily we can see that we can take this zone and refine a little bit more understanding that um with this in mind there may be a little bit of higher prices to be had and we'll notice that now that we're on the daily we did have this mini structural um break right here which also so we can get rid of this position right now for a second um, which means that we're actually coming back to mitigate here if i had looked at this a while back i would have said that we would look for buys in here as this high got made um, to get back into here right so we have to recognize that we are already mitigating some of the moves that were up inside of here which as you can see is also part of a lower time frame wyckoff schematic which broke down and is now being retested to most likely continue on this lower push and again that lower push as we get lower um, we can notice exactly where and how 
we're going to start fulfilling areas. So we're most likely going to see some mitigations here. But again, because we understand our bearish bias overall, we understand that this bias right here is going to be met with not completely new highs, but most likely a mini accumulation, which becomes, as you all know, a distribution, right? A redistribution. That's how you predict accumulations or redistributions ultimately. Okay. So that's, that's um, some stuff dropped right there. Now, as we have this breaking structure right here, um, as you can see, we expect buys um, until these lows here ultimately are taken out. We will expect to continue buying this up into these zones here, expecting that price can just push um, up a little bit higher. Now, if that does not occur, then what we're actually doing is we're undergoing a new Wyckoff distribution, which at this point I will shift my bias to being even more bearish on the lower time frames, right? So the lower time frames are still bullish up into those bearish time frames, which are now sending price lower. Because remember, this right here is all distribution that's now breaking structure, coming up to test, and then coming lower. But the test that it's coming up to make right here is actually bullish as we speak. So that's why we are expecting and waiting for that to come up. And again, we will do we do this every single um, weekend, every single Sunday in the mentorship. So if you do want to do this and you want to confirm your own bias or no or or compare the bias to how I do it or how other people do it, make sure you join. And also, <laughs> for the guy watching it that actually won a free spot, make sure you message me. Congratulations, by the way, and that's awesome, right? Just make sure um, you see this. So. So we'd be expecting buys from in or around that area. There's most likely something that had presented itself on a lower time frame. We can go and take a look at that really quickly. As you can see, price came into it actually really quickly. So it actually distributed um, up here, right? So this was a large distribution that broke some structure, came up to test the last up move before the down move, um, came right down into here. So this leads me to believe a little bit that we might actually have a deeper um, mitigation. However, if we aren't, to have a deeper mitigation on the specific time frame, we'd be looking for um, price to trade above here and then maybe give us an accumulation, which will take us up into the partials that can exist up in these levels here. Um, however, I think this will all exist as potential liquidity um, for this move up to grab, right? So I think that this will all exist as liquidity um, and it will be used as a creation of liquidity to then grab and then continue lower. So the expectation would be basically to see the buys from this area right here. Now, I don't see any specific buys that are really, really good at this point um, right now. However, that does not mean we can't see something on a lower or even higher time frame. So let's go to a one hour really quickly. Um, and we'll notice we'll notice very fast that, you know, this break of structure that occurred here um, was met with this move right here. And you can go and refine some areas in here. So if anything, prices could come a little bit deeper into the area right here. Right. But at the same time, we've, we've created a demand zone 2.0 of this zone right here. So if I was um, to be a participant on silver right now, I'd most likely than not look for an entry um, off of this right here. So what I would do is I'd set an alert right here. Um, and as price makes its way into there, I would look for the confirmation, uh, most likely on a one minute or even a lower time frame. I mean, you have a lot of price action in, in space here for it to do it, but I'd look for price to basically start to break down. Um, this might be the time it's ready to break down, but it might, it might make a new high before starting to break down. Um, so ultimately, We'd want to see prices come and start to break down, right? Begin to form some kind of accumulation, tap in, and then give us that accumulation that takes us to the top side, right? So we have that weak hands to strong hands, and then we again along the way, partial as per um, as per structure, as per market delivery, just to make sure that we're in and aware of both sides of the market and how they can be delivered to us, since we are trading the intermediary movements of a larger time frame, right? So never forget that. So let's get rid of the brush tools. Um, I have some more brush tools here, so let's get rid of those too. We don't really need them. And then we will go back to taking a look at what exactly silver is presenting to us. So as we get back to a one hour chart, let's zoom back in on this. You can see that we left this large imbalance, which is basically what's getting filled right now. Um, and this fill could continue, which means we could be part of some of the movements up inside of this um, little thing that might cr be created right before the liquidation and then higher prices, or we might see the, the move back down and then the accumulation back up in some areas here, which again, we have to be ready to meet with either distributions into new accumulations or distributions into deeper accumulations, right? Because like we say, we are trading footprints and we need to, um, we need to analyze the market from the standpoint of footprints because we understand that um, we're not always 100% correct. So that's where we're ultimately looking for that mitigation to occur. Again, the daily is still, uh, still bullish, so we're gonna expect that bullishness until it turns around. 
Um, it could turn around with this push right now. And if it does, then we will shift our bias because remember this whole thing is what's being mitigated right now, but we did refine it to a little area, which gives it some breathing room to fill in the imbalance. But you can see that this high right here, if we draw this across, actually filled some of that. So um, some of that has been met. And if this wants to be the, the high that gets put into place before fully new prices are met lower, then that fully, um, that fully can be the case, right? So let's get down to an eight hour. Again, we're just, we're just kind of going higher. We can again refine this area to here. So if we are to see a deeper push, it'll be into some areas here. But remember that's what we're mitigating right now. And that's why we're expecting bullishness from this area into some areas here and specifically the areas up here, which is all part of that higher time frame bias, right? And again, I've never, I never really look at silver. I'll take a look at it more often now since we're analyzing it. But the reality is you can do what I'm doing right now with any pair and with anything at all. Okay, so this was a very big drop off. So I do think that we might be like the starve and accumulation. However, inside of it, there might be things that we can be a, uh, that we can actually play with, right? So as you can see, price came in, created that last down for the up move. And then within here began to make down moves before the up moves, down moves before the up moves. Um, you might have looked to confirm a buy inside of here. Uh, you might have been able to get a short term buy on this little mitigation, but then it got taken out right here. Um, and with that takeout, it actually broke structure and then it came to break structure again right here. So right now um, we're fully aware and cognizant of the fact that it's probably going to make a run for some of the points inside of here. Right. So um, something like this. So that's where it's actually making a run for. And at this point, again, on a low time frame, if you want to be trading silver, which I'm not trading, but this is fully plausible, um, you can look for another buy in here that will take you up into the cells um, right here. And then you can look for hedge cells, right, to take you all the way back down into the zones um, denoted right here, because we would have an alert here set for those potential buys. Or you take that hedge with the expectation that it could come lower, but then it could easily break higher. And if you get stopped out of that hedge, um, then more likely than not, this move is actually going to continue higher to grab the liquidity, liquidity, and start to fulfill all the areas in here, right? So that's how you could hedge a position for a short if you are part of the movement here. So overall, the expectation on silver, and we can update this expectation as it goes on, of course, um, over the next few videos as we pick out some of the mentorship winners. But right now we have the one out of four winners. If you want to still be a participant, you still can be. You're not late. Just make sure you go and drop a comment on here. Hashtag MentFX. Make sure you're subscribed. Uh, make sure you like the video, whatever. No big deal. And you can be a part of that. So overall, um, the expectation would be to see, as I said, buys from here or here into the zones up here. Um, otherwise, if this is to be broken, I would be looking for mini retracements, right? Or even new retracements that create quick breaks that give us retracements into new supply zones that will give us cells into the zones provided significantly lower as we begin to run the blue lines of liquidity that we denoted with all this to start running into really, really deep prices of around like 22.7 or so. Um, otherwise, I'm ready to see it reach up into um, this zone here to distribute, right? Because all we're doing is we're looking for this. Um, we're looking for smart money to begin to undergo what they need to undergo to get involved in the market long term, right? And this can happen along all time frames. And if you're willing to watch it and you have the areas denoted and you're just waiting for the confirmation, then that's all you need to basically create a fully profitable system, right? Um, it's just about patience. Like this week alone, um, there's been like almost nothing on EU, right? Like EU's just been absolute jack shit. It's been like one or two trades. Um, some people in the mentorship caught amazing stuff on EU, definitely. But you know, I'm not, I'm not always, um, not always at the computer. I'm not always trading, so I'm not always catching stuff. But there's, there's people in here that have been catching great things on, um, like UJ. Yeah, people on. Oh no, this guy actually got stopped on UJ. <laughs> That's unfortunate for him. Um, but he had a good a good trade earlier. Yeah, so he had a he had a GU short, um, beautiful snipe. There it is, right? So on oh, a nice buy here. Oh, he was looking forward on the re-entry. I see, I see. I look through some of the trades in here. It's kind of cool. Always keeps you in the game to be able to look at some other people's ideas. Um, taking a quick look through some of the stuff in here, but. Definitely, if you want to be part of this group, make sure you um, you check out the website and you can join on this website right here. Otherwise, 
Um, since you did win this free one, make sure you message me because <laughs> claim your claim your free mentorship. Just make sure you can prove to me this is your um, YouTube account. Okay, that's all you have to do. And overall, the silver bias, um, as per a top-down analysis, is to expect buys in this area here and this area here into the highs here to start running this liquidity. On the other hand, it would be to look for sells, um, short-term sells inside of here, as well as the sells inside of here that should be met on a higher time frame. And if you have, if you don't understand what I mean by that, go check out Rule of Thirty: higher time frame level of distribution that should take us significantly lower into the prices all the way down here right and that is how you conduct a top-down analysis and create an idea about where you expect price to move and how you expect it to move so at this point all i really have to do is wait for this alarm to go off right um or wait for this alarm to go off so you can also go ahead and like set an alarm um up around this price level just like that and literally get away from the computer until until one of your trading view alarm goes off and then you can kind of watch it over time um so remember, overall, looking at this as an overall distribution because we're inside of this overall distribution right here, right? It's starting to break down and we're looking for the tests of this distribution. Oops. So we're looking for the tests of this distribution right here, right? We're looking for those tests to continue this bearish push. Now, it doesn't have to happen. This could be a large accumulation that wants to take a significantly higher. And if it is, that's fine because part of the way that we get involved, which is in buys like this, is that we don't just take the buys and close them. We take those buys and partial along the way. So if new highs are met instantly without the pullback into some of the deeper areas, as we expect, then we can still be a part of that entire up move, right? That's why even when we look at small entries like this, these entries here are not entries that you look to take. And again, I'm not taking this, but um, if you confirm it, you're not just taking this entry to get to here, right? And then to get to here or even like deeper and just close, right? Even though it's one to 10, that's fantastic. What you're doing with these entries is you're giving them the chance, even if you leave like 5% on or 10% of your position on a trade, you're giving those positions a chance to run to, um, what your higher time frame biases are right which is technically these highs being met so even though we are bearish um there's no reason that price can't um come and start to grab all these orders here and if it did even the here um that same trade becomes a one to 70 right a and if you really wanted to go crazy about it <laughs> which i mean i wouldn't even do but if you wanted to go crazy and actually think about new highs which i mean it's not crazy to do there's people that caught the markup on gold that made new highs as well um that new high would get you to one to 177 and of course you're not holding the whole position on it right but if you are let's say if you have a one hundred thousand dollar account and you're risking about let's say two percent per trade so about 2k um you leave about let's say 10 percent of the trade running right so only 10 percent of the trade is left running so it's literally nothing you've secured all the profits you need to but you then leave um 10.10 percent of the trade running then you leave 200 dollars on the table that means that that 200 um catapults into a 1 to 177 which makes you just on leaving 10 percent of the position on the table another 35k right so even though it keeps you from you know making a fuck ton if you left the whole position on we understand that we are constantly just trading the footprints of the market and the market wants to deliver a certain price um and go into a certain direction um that isn't in line with your bias you set up your management in such a way that allows you to catch that and benefit from that that way over a longer period of time when it does run it really really pays off and when it doesn't run you are left with you know a minus 10 percent of the original risks um of the original risk with profit locked in okay so hopefully this video made some sense hopefully it helped I try to make this more of an educational video just to walk you through my thought process when I look at any market and how I go about analyzing it. I'll try to keep updated on it since I don't really look at silver much. Maybe I'll go ahead and take some trades if the spread permits it. If spread is pretty good on silver, then I'd be happy to go ahead and look at what exactly is going on in silver and how we can be involved on some of the plays here. But overall, that's how I would conduct a top-down analysis on it and that's how I would create an expectation for it. And again, the way we did that and the way we create that expectation is the same way that you could go about about doing the expectations on us 30 on us 100 on bitcoin on crypto on anything at all so hopefully it's made some sense hopefully it is <laughs> it is very helpful and again if you want a chance at the free one month in the mentifex mentorship 
Um, all you have to do is go leave a comment on this video right here, one week of trading, watch this to understand. Um, uh, just with a hashtag MentFX, don't forget that. Or you can join the mentorship, and then if you do win, you'll be refunded $100. Um, so that's pretty much it. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you guys understand how I conducted this top down and how I'm expecting price to certainly move, right? So the expectation is either this into a distribution that will lead us to much lower prices or the expectation is to see that break, in which case we probably will not see confirmation inside here for the buys, which will then be met with um, areas of supply, which might be even this entire supply zone, right? This whole push up, because if this gets traded through, this becomes its own push up. Um, that might be met with a distribution that comes to start taking much, much lower imbalances and much lower prices um, in this market. So hopefully this made some sense. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Um, and I'll see you guys in the next video. And I appreciate all the fucking support. It's been mad. Uh, it's been actually sick how fast this channel has grown and how great you guys have all been. Um, I hope you're all killing it in the real world. I hope you're all learning. And even those that are not on real accounts yet, I hope that um, the the journey is exhilarating and the journey is fun for all because that's what this is. It's a personal journey and you're supposed to enjoy every moment of it even when it gets confusing as fuck. So thank you so much for watching guys and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Peace.